uh, I would like to welcome our last demonstrator, uh, George Masus, that has been uh, working for MSF for 20 years, I think, no? Yeah. So, and currently you're working with something very interesting that uh, perhaps will answer one of the questions earlier, how to know what everybody's working around. And uh, George is working currently with Graspio, an agile knowledge management system for MSF. Thank you. <clears throat> so today I will present the, the Graspio project, which is a project that is designed <coughs> to address the MSF knowledge management issues. Well, the concept is wide, but this project so far was scoped on document management, discussion forums, and the federal search. Federal search, we're talking about capabilities to go into different repositories that you have. It can be within the section, it can be outside the cross sections with, um, with other sections, and acquire the information that we are, we are looking for, just like Google does. So, the concept that we approach to, to develop this system, we work in close collaboration with Swiss Institute of Technology of Lausanne, which is a PFL, and we are aiming to develop a, <coughs> Uh, open source um, uh, open source uh, application in order to uh, to to share with other OCs or even other organizations if they want uh, and <clears throat> aiming to benefit for all developments that m may come afterwards so the main key features of the of this project is the capability of creating the content management part discussing in the context in a document even create a space for this group discussion. And the second part, which is interesting, is what we call the flat, centralized and decentralized, let's say, organization, knowledge organization, which means that we have information that is institutional information or guideline policies that are, 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 are placed by the, let's say, the, 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 the hierarchical structure at headquarters. And we have, the, let's say, a the decentralized uh, approach, which is every mission that they are producing tools, what you call the recipe de cuisine, which means uh, cooking recipes. All the tools that allow people to do their day-to-day -day work, calculation sheets, on a garden, organogram, plans, how to, 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 to set up, uh, let's say, an example, uh, Ebola uh, 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 treatment center. So if I want to do it, instead of redoing it again, uh, let's say, uh, recreating it again, I have to be able to have it in the system some way. So I start from that and improving it for, um, for, 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 for more improved development. And then the system also provide online and offline, uh, uh, let's say, capabilities. So the, how, how this works, the way this works is just easy and simple because what we want is to develop something that everyone can do without needing of training. So then it can show how you create a, a, a file, how you create a, a content, how you bring a content. The, the aim was to develop something that is easy to do, that everyone can do. Finish metadata issue that everyone used to have headache with that because they have many things to do. It's just drag and drop. You learn how to invite someone and then to discuss. It can be in a forum and even can be create a, let's say a, a personalized forum to discuss a issue which is related with the content that you find. You can also uh, uh, browse the content from the from the computer which everyone can do. You can also uh, add uh, additional resources, link to other platforms, other groups, in order to collect the content. You can even do more. So um, let's say create a, a document like we used to do in Google Docs. So then you can create a, a grasp your doc if you want. So then in order to co-edit with someone if you want to do that. So just simple like that. So um, briefly, this is just a resume of what I just said. So, so far today, we are, at, let's say, at the end of the pilot project and with <coughs> objective of uh, creating, let's say, a hub of information. That means ev every session, section or every instance that is uploading a content, that means this content stays in, 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 in the system and we are, we, we say we, we are able to, 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 to use that or anyone who wants it can retrieve that. And also, we reduce or we finish with the cost of 
paying license because license was one of the issues that limited us to scale up the knowledge into wider, uh, let's say, staff. We are limiting because paying license for, I don't know, thousands of people, while we know that most of them are not using. So then they were limited to, to that. So today is finished. That means the, the system is owned by MSF, so then we can roll home as much as people we want. Thank you. Thank you very much, George. I mean, it's not an easy task to explain all of this in five minutes, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, any questions? Yes, I see in the back the lady in the blue shirt. Given the amount of work that MSF does and, and the amount of resources and knowledge that's out there, how many people do you have working, or how, how do you work a tool like this that means that you're not flooded with information that's actually difficult to, to navigate your way through? Okay, so far the approach that we've used here is a concept that is a bit atypical than when you sometimes you use to develop or you buy system from existing system or for, a, a, let's say, um, a business company. So the year we did with the academic, which are not commercial, so then may, there are many people working on it, but are people that are resources that MSF take advantage through the collaboration that it has with the institution. But we have, uh, let's say, something like six uh, PhD people plus um, master's uh, students that are working on the system. With what we benefit on it is together to try to achieve the same objectives. And then, how do we organize the content? So then this becomes an internal issue. What is interesting in your question, they just come back from one of the countries we are doing a pilot, and then I was showing them, they click and click and click and say, okay, well, this is too much click. What do we need? We need just, we put the thematic here, disease, and then we click, we find everything about this disease. So then the organization of the, the information is us who have to do, if you, go, you, you, you log in, you can see how this, the, the, the information is logged. And this is collaborat collaboratively together with the expatriates, because it, within the mission, we realize that there are some expatriates who are experts in. In the, in the content management. So then we, now today, we are open to welcome them to join with ideas, with proposition in order to build up this uh, the, the information aggregation. Yep. Yes, uh, the man in the back, yes, that's you. Just uh, in real terms, how is that from, say, um, the old uh, log CDs or, uh, or the med CDs? And, and which also has the advantage of being able to use online. Well, actually, the system, the system is designed to work online and offline. I mean, you can have, a, let's say, a download offline. You can have even a download the zip file if you want. You can even have a peer-to-peer, -peer, let's say, a, a, a synchronization there. So it's also uh, planned to be, uh, let's say, uh, um, to work in low brand width context uh, also. Okay, thank you very much, George. And uh, that's the last demonstration and marks the end of the first half of uh, this session. Thank you very much. Thank you.